Well, before the Rex game tonight, Bob Kendrick threw out the first pitch. Kendrick is the president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City. And earlier today, he chatted with Sports 10 about some of the best players to ever play in the Negro Leagues. Enjoy. Of course, the legendary Satchel Paige, arguably the greatest pitcher this game has ever seen. We know for certain the oldest rookie in the history of Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball says that Paige was 42 years old as a rookie when he joined the Cleveland Indians in 1948. Cleveland would win the World Series that year. Page was named Rookie of the Year. Satchel was probably closer to 52 than 42. That is the great Oscar Charleston. Charleston, guys, in 1921, led the Negro Leagues in home runs, triples, doubles, stolen bases, and batting average in the same season. If you were going to compare him to a major league contemporary of that era, he had the defensive abilities of Tris Speaker, the tenacity of Ty Cobb, and the bat of Babe Ruth rolled into one. Outstanding baseball player, of course, is now enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Of course, this is the legendary James Thomas Cool Papa Bell, still believed today to be the fastest man to ever play the game of baseball. Clocked him in 12 seconds, circling the bases from home to home. His good friend Satchel Paige said of Cool Papa Bell that he was so fast he could walk in the room, turn off the lights, get in bed, pull up the covers before the room went dark. You know, but you don't have to fictionalize the speed of Cool Papa Bell. Cool Papa Bell once stole 175 bases in a 200-game season. Uh, this is a great photograph of the old Homestead Grays. Uh, I believe this photograph may be at, at Griffith Stadium in D.C. Of course, the legendary Josh Gibson, uh, who many will call the Black Babe Ruth. There are others, though, who saw Gibson play who would call Ruth the White Josh Gibson. My favorite player of all time are, uh, because I grew up in Georgia, the great Hank Aaron. That is Ernie Banks. Ernie's great career. You know, before he was, you know, let's play two in Chicago, he was playing in the Negro Leagues with the great Kansas City Monarchs. And of course, there's Jackie Robinson, who's really is the, you know, his, his breaking of the color barrier is one of the most significant occurrences in American history. What an impact those players had on the game, and Kendrick just so passionate about the history of the Negro Leagues.